everyone welcome back to my channel today I thought it might be fun to tell you about 10 popular things that I do not do this is because I'm frugal you can pick and choose if any of these might work for you I absolutely encourage you to do that or maybe even think about this or maybe it will make you think about some other things that you could cut out of your budget so today no judgment but these are the things that i do not do that are popular i do not participate in the electricity program where your bills are averaged throughout the year the reasons that i do not do that is i i feel like we are more mindful of the electricity usage that we use based on the fact that our electric bill will fluctuate if we do not manage it correctly and another one of the reasons that i don't participate in it is when my son moved off to college he left with all of his electronics, his Xbox, all of those things he was running in his room. And my electric bill should have gone down substantially because of him leaving. And after an entire year when I thought it would be average and go down, it went down like $10 on my average. And I had about $1,500 sitting there in credit that I couldn't access. And I had to wait a whole nother year before I would be able to get it recalculated again. So for my electric company and where I live, I just called them and I canceled it. And that way I got that $1,500 worth of credit, which covered basically the next year of my electricity. I didn't even have to pay for it because I had that much of a credit just sitting there in money that I couldn't even use. So that's why I don't participate in the average electric bill usage program. The next thing is, as you know, I don't color my hair anymore. I've never got pedicures. I've never got manicures. With me living on the farm, washing dishes by hand, gardening, some of those things just didn't make sense for me to do anything with my nails because they would just get messed up anyway. And I always felt like my money could be spent somewhere else that I would enjoy it more. And now that I'm older and I have some back issues and I've always colored my own hair, it's kind of painful for me to lift my arm above my head. And we have a new bathroom stall, a new walk-in shower. I don't want to mess it up with maybe getting some stains on there from coloring my own hair. So I just felt like it's time. I'm, I'm 57 and a half. My kids are starting to get gray hair. I just felt like it's time that I let mine go natural. So I do not color my own hair or get my nails or my toenails done. The third thing that I do not do is I don't go out and buy things for like an event. I don't buy like a new dress for a wedding. I don't buy new shoes. I don't buy a new outfit if we have an event coming up. And I still get hand-me-downs from my daughter-in-law. She will give me shoes, clothes, and different things from time to time. So I do get a few things from her from time to time, but I just use what I have in my closet. I feel like I have more than enough to choose from. And even if it's not what I would maybe choose to wear that day, it'll get me by for one day. There's no point in going out and buying a new outfit for a wedding that I'm not going to wear again for who knows how long. And so that's one thing that I just do not do anymore. The fourth thing that I don't do anymore is I don't buy ice cream. We make our own ice cream, we make our own sherbet, and I feel like it is cheaper that way. I feel like it tastes better. And I'm also able to do like non-dairy options when my kids come that are allergic to milk. So I have stopped buying any ice cream in the store. The fifth thing that I do not do is I do not clean like area rugs or take them to dry cleaners. I take them out on the line or throw them over the fence with a broom 
and I use the old-fashioned beat your rug method. <laughs> I feel like it gets the dirt out of the rug that's embedded in there that your vacuum doesn't get out and it actually extends the life of your area rug to not use the carpet cleaner on the rug. So that's something very old fashioned that my mom used to do and I still do it. I take my rugs out and I beat them with a broom. The sixth thing that I do not have is I do not have an ice maker and I do not buy ice. We make our own ice cubes. I have old fashioned ice cube trays. I just pour the water into the ice cube trays and we have enough that I can break those open, dump them into a baggie and keep a baggie of ice in my freezer at all times and then have other ice that's still making itself while we're using the bagged ice. In fact, the other day my daughter-in-law was coming out and I dumped water down my front trying to take the ice cubes, ice cube trays and put them into the refrigerator. And I thought, oh my gosh, I'm covered in wetness. What am I going to tell her? And I thought, well, I'm just going to tell her the truth. I was making my own ice and I dumped the ice cube tray down my front. She knows me well enough to say, well, that sounds like her. <laughs> The seventh thing that we don't do is when we're going camping, we don't go out and just buy all kinds of stuff for that weekend. People will have events like this and decide that they're going to maybe rough it and camp for a few days, but they'll go out and buy everything under the sun and bring all this stuff with them to camp for the weekend. But I have found that normally I have enough stuff that I can get creative with what I already have on hand to take with us for food. For instance, right now I have some shredded deli meat in the freezer that I could thaw out. I have cans of tuna that I could take and whip up some tuna salad. I have things like that that I will just figure out what we're going to have when we go camping. It's not always burgers and hot dogs. Many times I get creative and I come up with other things that I have in the house to take with us so that I don't spend a bunch of money on a camping weekend by going out and buying special camping foods. And number eight is I do not go hog wild when it comes to vacations. We like to take vacations. In fact, here about a year ago, we took about five vacations in one year. Many people will say, I can't afford a vacation, or they'll say, I take one vacation maybe every three or four years, but then they say, I'm on vacation. Anything goes, anything I want, anything I do, I've worked hard for this. I'm not going to worry about money while I'm on vacation, and I'm going to do the things I want to do. Well, my husband and I don't vacation like that. We carefully plan what we're going to do. We carefully plan the costs. We look at whether it's cheaper to fly, cheaper to drive, what are the things to do in the area that cost a lot of money or don't cost a lot of money. We even will spend time looking at the menus online of the restaurants that are around us to determine where we want to go based on what things cost. For instance, one of our vacations to the Florida Key Largo area here about a year or so back, we spent time looking at all of the fresh fish restaurants all the way around us to determine where we could eat fresh fish and it be a reasonable cost. Some of those restaurants were almost like $90 a plate for fresh fish. And we were not willing to pay that even though we were in a fishing area. So we are very careful about that. We also looked at whether or not it was cheaper to take like a glass bottom boat ride or if it was cheaper to go to the beach at John Penningham State Park for the day. And we chose the John Penningham State Park. I think it only cost us maybe $7 to get in. 
and it was wonderful. So we carefully choose our events, even when we're on vacation. And for us, that's the difference between maybe taking one vacation every three or four years and taking five vacations in one year. We stayed at an older resort. It was clean. It had people our age. It wasn't overcrowded. We had our own beach. We had our own little town home. It was wonderful. But when I posted pictures of it, some people said I wouldn't stay in that dump. Wow. Well, it's way fancier than my house. <laughs> We loved it there. We took our own oatmeal and our own brown sugar in the morning, made our own breakfast, and we only ate like twice a day at times and then brought home leftovers and sometimes made those the next day from the restaurant. So we were very frugal and careful with our money, even on vacation, but we still came home having a great time. The ninth thing that I do that is not popular is I bulk up my cooking. I have used more oats in things over the past year than I ever have in my life. I add it to meat. I add it to pancake mix. I add it to muffins. I add it to a lot of things because it's been one of the cheaper things that I can add into foods that are more expensive and make them go farther. And again, I've had a few people say, I'm not going to, I wouldn't eat that slop. It's not slop. You wouldn't even know the oatmeal is in your meatballs. You would have no idea it's in there if I fed it to you. And yet it makes several more meatballs to do that. So that's one of the things that I do that is probably a little unpopular. And the 10th thing that I don't do is I don't go out and buy things for a new season. I don't go out and buy new shorts for the summer, new shirts for the summer. You probably see me in a lot of the same clothes. And I feel like as long as I have plenty, why should I go get something new? As long as I still have things that are in good shape, still have things that fit me, I don't see a point in going out and spending more money on things that I do not have a place to put them. So even though it's popular for people to go buy a new swimsuit before summer or buy a new winter coat before winter many times, I don't choose to do those things. And there's nothing wrong with any of these things if you choose to do them a different way. This was just a video to tell you about 10 popular things that I don't do. So I hope you have enjoyed this and I really appreciate your time with me today. Let me know in the comments, is there some popular things that you don't do because you choose to be more frugal with your money? Thanks for watching and I hope to see you in the next video. Oh, yeah.